Major League Baseball has started. Opening day was yesterday for six teams, and the rest of the teams played today. Tell me the early favorites that Vegas has for to win the World Series. Right, because Vegas is always eerily accurate with these predictions. I, it's sometimes scary how close they get the lines right. So right now, Vegas has the base, the World Series favorites at Cubs, then Indians, Red Sox, Dodgers, Nationals, Astros. Adam, who are you thinking? Who's your World Series? So for the NL, i got to go with the Dodgers. Okay. Uh, I think they're the most well-rounded team. I think that, you know, there isn't really a weak spot in their game. You know, they have... Uh, Clayton Kershaw and Rich Hill, Rich Hill on the mound, two dominant pitchers in the league. Uh, form, uh, last year's Rookie of the Year winner, Corey Seager, is going to be a presence at shortstop this year. And then 20-year-old Julio Urias can definitely make an impact as a young player. Um, for the American League, I'm thinking Red Sox. Okay. You know, it's really hard for me to cheer for the Red Sox, but honestly, they're not the Yankees. I, it's I have, it's I open ha game. I have no beef with the Red Sox. I think the Red Sox are going to be a great team this year. David Price, Chris Sale, you know, top two pitchers, in my opinion, for the Red Sox. They have a strong bullpen this year, led by Craig Kimbrell as their closer. And then Mookie Betts and Andrew Benatini are going to be presents, you know, in the hitting lineup. Uh, both of them hit really well. Uh, An Andrew Benatini is possible Rookie of the Year candidate. I think that he could possibly, you know, run away with that early in the year. So... I'm definitely thinking Dodgers Red Sox, and as much as I do want to pick the Sox, I think it's the Dodgers' year this year. Uh, you know, Dodger Blue runs deep in Los Angeles, and I think that this is the year that they finally put all the pieces together and they win a championship. Right. So neither of those teams were the Cubs. Last year's last season's World Series winner on Vegas's current number one odds. Do you think they can repeat? I think they can. The pieces are all there. I just don't think they do. It's really hard to repeat in this right. league. They may be the odd odds favorite to win it, but they lost a few key pieces last year, including Dexter Fowler, their star center fielder, and their leadoff hitter. So, you know, it could happen, but it just I just don't see it happening. I really don't. I feel like the wheels are gonna fall off. You know, I think they'll make the postseason. I think they're gonna win the central, but at the end of the day, I just feel like somebody's gonna beat them. That's totally fair. I mean, it, it, as you said, ridiculously hard to repeat in the ML, MLB. I believe the last time was the Yankees, and that was that has been a while it's, since then. It's been a while right. since we've had a repeat championship. So I know you're a Braves fan. Unfortunately. Braves, of course, have moved to a new ballpark. They've moved out of Atlanta to the suburbs. Do you think this will help the Braves find some hope? Hope, yes. Success right now, no. Okay. You know, the Braves have the number one farm system in Major League Baseball right now. They have Carlos Ruiz and Ozzy Albas waiting in the wings, ready to come up, and also pitchers like Aaron Blair, who are also ready, who are this close to being major league ready. That very close. You know, when I look at the Braves lineup right now, they have a lot of talent. And, you know, we can see that. Matt Kemp in left, Ender Inciarte in center field, Nick Markakis in right field. You know, that's one of the best outfields in the game. And then you've got Freddie Freeman, of course, at first. And then you have Dansby Swanson, the rookie sensation, at shortstop. Other than that, the Braves have some problems. Problems, You know, you have Brandon Phillips at second. You know, he's getting old. He can still hit. It's fine. He's got it brought in as a backup for, you know, when Sean Rodriguez got hurt. Adonis Garcia at third. You know, can't make plays like he used to. And Ty Tyler Flowers just isn't the answer for the Braves behind the, you know, behind the plate. Right now, the biggest problem that's going to happen for the Braves, though, is the bullpen and the starting pitching. You know, you got Julio Tehran, who's your best pitcher. After that, you got three old guys, and then you got a young guy who's still trying to figure it out. So, you know, the addition of Bartolo Colon and R.A. Dickey, great job by the Braves of getting those guys. Uh, I do think the Braves are going to finish above 500. Okay. Uh, just barely, though, maybe by a game. I think they're going to finish third in the East, but they are going to miss the playoffs. But... You know, they'll get a few wins in the new stadium for sure. I like what you said there about having hope even if they don't have success. Because that's a thing that I feel like a lot of fans don't realize. They expect success from their teams every single year, except can sustain success. But sports is a cycle, you know. Right now, like, right now, the Yankees, they haven't been good in a couple of years. That's crazy to think because Yankees fans come to expect a sustained excellence from the Yankees. And that just doesn't happen in sports that often. We see teams bottoming out in like the NBA, such as the 76ers, or of the couple years ago, or the Kings, what they're probably going to do next year. And you look at that, and 
like baseball too, Astros a couple years ago, and Astros is now one of those six teams that Vegas really likes to win the World Series. So I think it's, it's a cycle, and I think if you have guys like Dansby Swanson on your team, I think the Braves should have hope for the future. All right, I just want to give a, you know, let's give a few predictions sure. on some trope, some hardware. Do you like Swanson for that Rookie of the Year? I do like Swanson for that Rookie of the Year. I think he's the best rookie in the National League. Um, you know, he's great at shortstop. He's got a great glove, great arm, and he's got a good bat to go with it. Looks like the Braves are putting him in the two-hole for this season. Uh, for my American League Rookie of the Year, I do have Andrew Benatendi for the Boston Red Sox. I think he runs away with it early in the season. Yeah. Okay. Um, I saw Young. I've got Clayton Kershaw repeating. I just I don't think anybody can hit him. He is such a dominant pitcher, and it's fun to watch Clayton Kershaw unless he's playing your team, and then you dread when his starting spot comes up. American League might surprise a few people right now. Chris Archer for the Tampa Bay Rays. The Tampa Bay Rays are not going to be that good this year, but I think Chris Archer, if he doesn't get traded from the Tampa Bay Rays, is going to have a successful season for the Rays. And then my MVPs for the National League, I've got Corey Seager, shortstop for the Los Angeles Dodgers. He is just a fun player to watch. He's a great mm. player. He's got a great bat, great glove, great everything. And I've got Mike Trout in the American League who's going to cap it off. It is hard to bet against Mike Trout in the AL. Someone else that's hard to bet against is Tim Tebow. That's why he will be the 2017 NL MVP. This has been Sports Mecca. This has been a good show. I'm Jacob Blogger. This is Adam Burzal. We will see you all next time. <laughs>